protect and improve the health of our rivers. That's not much to ask for, is it? Giving people access to inland waterways is key in, in improving their health, basically. They are so crucial. It's like the veins basically running through the country, aren't they? And, and if they're unhealthy, then how can we expect the planet as a whole to be healthy? They are crucial, and this is the idea that we can't just look at what's going on out to sea. We have to look at the whole picture, and the bigger picture starts in land, and it starts with our lives in land. And if we can start connecting to that environment, then I think we can really start to shake things up and to, and to start looking at how we can protect the planet as a whole. As paddlers, we have every single thing propelling us towards wanting to keep the places we paddle in the best possible condition. I think that paddlers and rowers and swimmers could be zero impact users of a river if they're taught how to do things right. There is no reason why you can't use a waterway and leave no trace whatsoever. And at the same time, you could come to that same waterway and you could help clean it up. You could help make sure that it's not polluted. You could make sure that if it's being polluted that you can let someone know about it. But you've got to be there to be able to do all those things. Over the years, there's been some vast improvements in the waterways, but in terms of kind of harming, I, I suppose really it's just that people not actually seeing the problems. I think that's, you know, I think a lot of kind of different um, different agencies and government bodies probably depend on, on people reporting problems. And if those problems can't be accessed, can't be seen, then I think that's, that's a worry. People will throw rubbish down, they'll throw it out of the car. Ultimately, after the rain, it ends up in the drainage system and it'll end up in the river. So all the plastic we're seeing that's in the sea, a lot of it will have just been washed off the streets. Uh, it goes into the river system, flows out to sea. Well, you know, if kayakers take, take on that responsibility, then the rivers would be a beautiful place to be, but ultimately the sea will be cleaner as well. Preserve and enhance our natural environment. That's not much to ask for, is it? One of the main things that canoeists and kayakers want to do when they get out onto the water is just to access a, a really unique environment. I think education would be important actually and, and making sure people understand, especially if they're new to paddle sport, how to actually get out onto the, onto the river and to use that environment responsibly. The vast majority of paddlers that go out would, would do that already and most people do that naturally but a little bit of education would really help actually. There is a counter argument that says that um, at certain times of year these environments are very fragile and people should not be using them. 100%. That's totally, totally true. But I don't think that that equates to rivers being essentially for monoculture, for one single usage. They shouldn't be. We should learn about the times that rivers can and can't be used and we should behave accordingly. The more access we have to more places, then education will kick off because now, as a governing body say, if I'm allowing you to go on any river, we're going to have to have some rules to go with that. I can't have you messing up everything for everyone else, so I will say to you that if you go there, here's your code, here's your code of responsibilities. There have to be rules, there has to be a code of conduct. But what's the point in writing up a code of conduct when we only have 4% of our waterways available to us in the first place? You know, we need to have all of it available and then we need to start working on how, on the particulars of how we can properly use those waterways. I think in terms of the environmental impact um, that paddle sports can have, we've got a huge advantage. We're on the water, we can see, you know, some of the rubbish or whatever is in the water and that gives us a chance to not only pick it up, but to be aware um, of our environment and, and what we're doing to look after it. So by having more people on the water, undoubtedly we're going to have healthier water, better rivers um, and hopefully less, less rubbish and, and a better environment for everybody. Fair, shared and sustainable open access for all. British Canoeing is committed to making that happen.